Cam, let's Scott back on Fantasy Insider. What we're doing right now is the preview show, but we get it going for real. The regular season starts on Fantasy Insider Monday, yeah, the day before opening night. 6 Eastern on NBA TV, we're coming at you, and the show airs live at noon on NBA.com. And it is time right now to clock the centers, 10 through 6. Let's talk Yao. He was the seventh best player over eight categories two years ago, but they got a minutes count on him. He's at 24 minutes tops this year per game. So I see about 14 and seven and many DMPs. Yeah, it's kind of a buzzkill if you're a big Yao Ming fan because now the minutes and the opportunities are not going to be there for him to give you his normal numbers. So folks, you may want to keep Yao kind of hovering on the bench there and use him from time to time. We're worried about Bogut's elbow. He's at nine. Nene solid as a rock at eight. Camby at seven, still bringing the D. And Joakim Noah really primed for a takeoff here. He is at six. Let's move on to five through one. Marcus Gasol, you're going to you're going to get Solid. about the same thing, about 15 and 10. And that brings us to Al Horford here at four. Obviously, Jefferson Lopez and Howard, the true, true elite at center. Horford, Larry Drew has said, new coach of the Hawks, that Horford's going to get more power forward minutes this year. Is that preseason coach speak, or is there something to that? It's reality. For the last two years, they've been trying to figure out a way for Al Horford to get more minutes, more opportunities at the power forward position because they think he can flourish and expand expand his game, so look for Al Horror to be more at power forward. That would not be good news for Marvin Williams. No, Marvin Williams will probably get more bench minutes. I think he may still flourish because now he's coming part of that second unit. Maybe he gets more opportunities there. I hear you. Let's move on to some sleepers. Let's start with Roy Hibbert. Uh, I read right before we came out here that his coach was uh, getting on him because he didn't like his preseason what? play. What? The guy is hovered around 20 and 10. He's blocking the heck out of the ball. Jim O'Brien, what Pacers team are you watching? Bottom line, we love Hibbert coming into this year. I love Roy Hibbert to death. Coming out of college, there was some questions, but he's proven that he's worked hard every year. He's improved each year. His body, taking care of that, and now being more consistent around the hoop, I think he has a better year. Last year, he was at 1.6 blocks. That number's going up. The rebounds have to go up from Hibbert. There's no doubt about that. And he was 50 and 75 field and free throw last year. So he's a sharp percentage guy, too. We love Roy Hibbert, bottom line. Let's move on to DeMarcus Cousins. Okay, Awesome summer league in Las Vegas. He's had a very, very good preseason. Uh, Samuel D'Alembert is going to be hurt to start the season, and I think that opens up the five spot for this man. Young fella, just continue to work hard, hang out with Tariq Evans, get on his page, yeah. and y'all two carry Sacramento back to the promised land. Yeah, kind of like uh, the wide receiver wanting to buddy oh, up to yeah. the quarterback. Yeah. Yes, you, sir. you want those passes, man. All right, one more sleeper center we want to uh, discuss with you. JaVel McGee of the Washington Wizards. He is a young Marcus Camby, okay? He's like a pogo a human pogo stick. He can jump out of the gym. Uh, here's the thing. Flip Saunders wants more substance than style. We just want double-doubles with blocks. So do you, do you see a big year from JaVel? JaVel, keep doing what you do. Get them flies out of here. <laughs> He's going to be swatting some shots. Hopefully it's about two blocks per game. Other sleepers that we like, Robin Lopez of the Suns and Andres Beadrench of the Golden State Warriors. No, Nelly, that means Beadrench can play. For 3D and our crew, I'm Rick Hamlet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Fantasy Insider.